Hi, welcome to Garden Friends, post Christmas edition. I was out here in our yard, Tampa, Florida, um, inspecting some of the frost damage that we had. Around Christmas, we had two nights of below freezing temperatures. Um, so I have, I have damage. I came out to look at my Senna plants. Um, first to check to see if he had any damage. Second, to see if I was gonna have to cut him down because of this fungus that I found in the backyard. And sure enough, got it in the front yard right here. I, according to our county extension agent, this has to do with the cooler mornings that we have in the fall and the high humidity. I haven't had it the last two or three years. I've never seen it before. I totally missed it this year because I didn't know to expect it. And it's all over my plants. What I need to do is just cut them down, cut all the leaves off. I'll spray it with a fungicide and see if it will come back nice and fresh and green when it grows new leaves. While I was out here inspecting for my icky fungus, I found that this particular plant is full of caterpillars. Now this is the host plant for a sulfur butterfly. He's yellow, you see him flying around all the time. He really looks solid yellow. Here's one of his, here's one of his little caterpillars right there. There's about half a dozen that we found. These are more yellow than green. Sometimes they're more green. And you'll see him flying around. He's pretty much solid yellow. If you look real closely, if you can get close enough to him, you'll see he does have some light um, circles and some different colors in there. You, you just can't really see it when he's flying around. It's really pretty. And he was the reason that I planted these to begin with. And I was really happy that it self seeds itself and just pops up like crazy. And so I have transplanted it to some various locations and well, I have more. So I've had some more caterpillars on them and now I have more fungus. We just put the fun in fungus, I guess. So I am going to leave him alone because he's full of caterpillars. I'll check my others to see if they have any caterpillars. If not, I will go ahead and I will cut them down to eliminate as much of the fungus as I can. And then I'll spray it and see what happens in the spring. But for now, if you like my, my caterpillars, like my video, and I hope that you have a happy new year. Keep gardening.